Hey guys, Pokemon Collectibles here, and welcome back to the last day of Venusaur Week. Now, I've had these videos pre-recorded for Venusaur Week for some time now, because I knew that I was going to be going to a surgeon soon, well, a dental surgeon, and have my wisdom teeth removed. So, since I knew that was coming, I knew I'd be pretty out of it. They do say that you sleep a lot afterwards, and trust me, you do. <laughs> I'm just going to power through this and get this last video out of the way, and... Hopefully I won't sound too terrible. My mouth still hurts a little bit. Anyway guys, enough about me and on to this little plushie. Now I know you'll notice that this is actually Bulbasaur, not Venusaur. But the only reason that I threw this little dude in here is because, well, I wasn't able to find too many things for Venusaur Week that weren't really expensive for some reason. I don't know why. People... Always say Venusaur is the least popular one, yet for some reason his stuff is pretty expensive. So <laughs> I got this little Bulbasaur. Let's see if I can get him open. Show you guys a little bit better. Like I said, I know it's not a, a Venusaur, but I mean, I already have a plushie for Venusaur and a plushie for Mega Venusaur, so I just found this little dude. He's really soft, too. I know I say that a lot, but he is really soft. His little bulb is, too put him out there. Show you a little size comparison. Now, I actually like that he is smaller than the Mega and the regular one because if he was bigger than the, than the Mega Venusaur, then it looked really weird. Of course, now that I think about it, they are about the same size. <laughs> so if I can get this little dude back over here. Now again, with the eyes, I don't know if I've mentioned that on the other ones, but the eyes are always really well stitched. They look very nicely formed. He's got a kind of happy little smirk on his face. Just really, really well put together. Now, I actually don't know who made this little guy, but now, I'd imagine this was made by the Pokemon Company because the stitching on him is done really well. But again, I don't really know. I mean, somebody could have made it this well. There's a lot of really talented people out there, actually. I recently found out a couple months ago that my Jolteon that I bought is actually handmade. It wasn't made by a Pokemon company. It wasn't even made by Takarotomi. It was actually a fake. But I don't know if you guys noticed, but it looks pretty cool. So even if you guys find things that aren't made by an official company, they're still pretty nice. Now there are a lot of real, really weird ones out there. Especially if you look up Charizard figures. I don't know what happened to the Charizard plushies, but for some reason people did a lot of really weird stuff. Now, I also have this little thing to show you guys. Right here. I don't know if you guys remember these, but I got this when I was a little kid. He actually has a little thing that you're supposed to put into this. And you push a little button on it and he fires. But <laughs> I have long since lost my launcher, so... Yeah, I don't really know where it is. But I kept the... Little Bulbasaur because I always liked it. I have a Rhyhorn of this somewhere too. I also have a Rhyhorn. But I want to say it was McDonald's toys, but it could have been Burger King. You guys can tell me in the comments if you knew if you know which one it was, but I kinda like him, so that's why I kept him. Also, I didn't show you guys these. These were actually put into I wanna say the Mega Venusaur thing where somebody sent me these in the little bag that he came in. So I forgot to show you guys Lotad and Fletchling. Now I don't really like these too much because they don't usually come out all that well painted. Now Lotad looks pretty cool. His mouth is a tad bit messed up on the bottom. But other than that he looks pretty cool. But Fletchling, well he's got this little mess up piece right here and then he just looks over painted in places and he looks under painted in other places so oh well. I decided to show you guys because whoever actually sold me that sent me these two little dudes too, but my favorite little thing is this little, I guess, McDonald's toy. I'm not really too sure. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed Venusaur Week. I hope it went as well as everybody thought it was going to. And I actually might have one more thing. I'm still waiting for it in the mail as of... May 26th. That's the day I actually record this. But I'm hoping it gets here because if it does, then I'm going to have a little Takara Tomi figure to give away. But if it doesn't, I'll just do the same thing I did with Charizard Week and just kind of throw it in later on. And it'll be part of the week, but yet not part of the week, if that makes any sense. But 
I'm hoping it'll get here pretty soon. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If this will be the last video, hope you enjoy the entire week and have an awesome day.